can't handle the truth. Et le nouveau directeur de la CIA de Donald Trump sera finalement John Radcliffe, anciennement directeur du renseignement national. Radcliffe a été l'un des premiers à révéler le canular russe et la dissimulation de l'ordinateur portable de Hunter Biden. Il est aujourd'hui appelé à jouer un rôle clé dans la déclassification de certains secrets les mieux gardés de la nation, notamment les dossiers du 11 septembre, les dossiers JFK, les associés d'Epstein ou encore les participants aux tristement célèbres soirées de Didi. This is a Fox News alert. President-elect Donald Trump announcing that former director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe, will serve as his CIA director. Trump saying about Ratcliffe, quote, from exposing fake Russian collusion to be a Clinton campaign operation to catching the FBI's abuse of civil liberties at the FISA court, John Ratcliffe has always been a warrior for truth and honesty with the American public. So there. The approximately 50,000 text messages that I've seen with your personal beliefs like F Trump, stop Trump, impeach Trump. Go ahead and confirm on the record that none of that occurred on an official FBI device or on official FBI time. Go ahead and do that. Sir, no, they did. Many of them did. Occur. Oh, they did. And I would say okay, of the so 50,000, uh, sir. So, so really, no, I'll give you a chance at the end. So what you really meant to say was that when you said you never crossed that bright inviolable line, what you meant to say was except for 50,000 times, except for hundreds of times of day where I went back and forth expressing my personal opinions about effing Trump and stopping Trump and impeaching Trump on official FBI phones, on official FBI time. Other than that, you never cross that line. I'm sure there are 13,000 FBI agents out there that are beaming with pride at how clearly you've drawn that line. Agent Strucker, you're starting to understand why some folks out there don't believe a word you say and why it's especially troubling that you, of all people, are at the center of the three highest profile investigations in recent times that involve President Trump and that you were in charge of an investigation investigating, gathering evidence against Donald Trump, a subject that you hated, that you wanted to F him, to stop him, to impeach him. And do you see why that might call into question everything you've touched on all of those investigations? Chairman, uh, I'm done with this witness and I yield back. There's now a report that will be issued by the by the Pentagon, uh, by the Secretary of Defense and the Director of National Intelligence. I actually wanted to get this information out and declassified before I left office, but we weren't able to get it down into an, uh, an unclassified format that we could talk about uh, quickly enough. But, but frankly, there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. Some of those have been declassified. When we talk about sightings, we're talking about objects that have been seen by Navy or Air Force pilots or have been picked up by satellite imagery that um, uh, frankly um, engage in actions that are difficult to explain, that um, movements that, uh, that are hard to replicate, that we don't have the technology for, or traveling at speeds that you know, exceed the sound barrier without a, a sonic boom. So in short, um, things that we are observing that are difficult to explain. Um, and so uh, you know, there's actually quite a few of those, and I think that that information is being gathered and will, will be put out Um, in a way that the American people can see. We always, when we, when we see these things, Maria, we always look for a, a, a plausible explanation. You know, weather can cause disturbances, visual disturbances. Sometimes we wonder whether or not our adversaries have technologies um, that are a little bit further down the road than we thought or that we realized. But there are instances where we don't have good explanations for some of the things that we've seen. And, um, you know, when that information becomes declassified, I'll be able to talk a little bit more about that. <laughs> Can you tell us where it was seen? Actually, all over the world. There have been sightings all over the world. And, and when we talk about sightings, the other thing I will tell you is um, it's not just a pilot or just uh, a satellite or some um, uh, intelligence collection. Usually we have multiple sensors that are picking up these things. And so, uh, you know, again, some of this are just their unexplained phenomenon. Um, and uh, there's actually quite a few more than have been made public. So uh, I think it'll be healthy for uh, as much of this information to get out there as possible.